we've planted something like 30,000 hedgerow plants in the last 20 years. Well, that's, that's actually a lot of carbon being captured. And if you end up with a, a hedge, hedge like we've got two metres wide, some of them a couple of metres more high, some of them going up to full height trees, that's a huge amount of, of carbon captured in there. So you are doing your bit for the environment. You end up with this huge length of linear woodland effectively, which, which means the animals can move along that, the birds can roost in there and everything else as well. Uh, hello girls, hello girls, how are we doing? How are we doing? There's quite a drive at the moment, so let's plant trees everywhere. And the problem with that, if you start planting trees on, on, on good agricultural land, either you're not producing livestock or you're not growing crops, hedgerow is an ideal way of putting trees in a place where they at, help the farmer uh, rather than just taking away the farming completely. The hedges are buffering that water flow to reduce the risk of flooding further down um, and they're also drawing up quite a lot of the water so that actually the, the fields won't be as boggy around the hedges and where the tree roots are as it would be in a big open field. So it's, it's all part of yeah, improving the soil and meaning we can keep the cattle out a little bit longer. I promise, look, you're going to have to mend that hole in that hedge there before we put the cattle out here next time. Not a big hole, but yeah. You mentioned the, you know, this year we had the drought um, and one of the things that we also benefited from was that the cattle actually browsed the hedgerows, didn't they? Yeah. And we think that stopped us having to supplementary feed through the summer. When we moved them from field to field, the first thing they did this summer was go from, they didn't eat the grass, they ate the hedges. <laughs> <laughs> Talking to the government, it needs to be a long term, it's not a five year, it's not a five year or a ten year project. It's, it's a lifetime project. But also their policy is to pay people to re put, put hedge rows back in. Not, there's nothing to support us for continuing with what we're doing for the good practice that's there. Everything has to be bespoke and nature's bespoke. Because if you try and put nature in a box, it comes back and bites you in the ass.